Hi friends, Simplify Concepts is going to explain you the concept of economic order quantity, the assumptions underlying it and the main focus of the video will be on the derivation of the economic order quantity formula. So here we must understand that what you mean by EOQ. EOQ is basically an order quantity which is going to minimize our total cost related to inventory. So this total cost includes two types of cost, carrying cost and ordering cost. And the formula which we derive EOQ is based upon certain assumptions. As you can see, the demand is known and constant, whatever is your demand. Then the lead time is known and constant. What is lead time? Lead time is the time difference between the time which, when we order and the time when we receive the order. So the time difference between the two is termed as lead time. And we assume that quantity discounts are given by the supplier but we are not availing them and the concept of stockouts and shortages they are not at all considered in the calculation of EOQ. So here our main focus will be that the total ordering cost plus the total carrying cost should be minimum. So this is what our objective is and we are going to do it by using the formula. So here we are interested in finding out the total inventory cost which will be the sum of total ordering cost and the total carrying cost. Before starting this, let us just discuss the abbreviations used for them. For economic order quantity, we will be using Q. For annual demand in units or annual requirement in units throughout the year, we will be using R. Then the cost of placing one order will be represented by CO and the holding cost or the carrying cost per unit per year will be determined by putting up H. Now please understand and put focus on this item. This is really important. H is basically your storage cost, which can also be known as holding cost or carrying cost. So this is basically the cost of holding one unit. That means if you, if you keep one unit in your go down for one year, what will be the cost? This is represented by H. Now, calculating the total ordering cost. We can calculate the total ordering cost by the number of orders in a year multiplied by the per order cost. How do you calculate number of orders? Number of orders can be determined by R divided by Q. The understanding is very simple. Suppose you require in the year total 6,000 units and you order 1,000 units at one time. So how many times you will have to place the order? Obviously, six times. So this is the number of orders. Then the number of orders will be multiplied by per order cost and you will get the total ordering cost. Then carrying cost per unit, which is H, will be multiplied by the average inventory we keep in our go down. Now, how do you use this formula basically Q by 2? Why? Why it is used as average inventory? Basically, we are interested in finding out that throughout the year, like throughout the year, how much inventory we keep in our go down and the cost of that we are interested in finding out. So suppose if we order 1000 units at one time, so maximum 1000 units can be there in the go down and minimum it can go down to zero units. So how much should we take? So that, that is why we are taking the average inventory. So we are just taking the average that is 1000 plus 0 divided by 2, right? Since 0 does not hold any value, so therefore we are using the formula as 1000 by 2 and therefore Q by 2. So that is the reason that we use Q by 2 multiplied by H. Now our objective is to minimize the total cost. That is always the objective. How do you minimize the total cost? So we will be using some mathematics here. So in order to minimize the total cost, this is the cost equation which we have obtained. Now we are going to differentiate the total cost value with respect to Q and we will equate it to zero in order to find out the minimum cost. So see how we can do it. That means we are supposed to differentiate d by dq with respect to Q. We are going to differentiate the total cost and put it equal to zero. So let me just put all the, the equation which we have written here once again. So R by Q multiplied by CO plus Q by 2 multiplied by the holding cost. So this has to be differentiated and kept equal to 0. 
so i hope friends that you know about differentiation so we are not discussing the formula for differentiation here so i am writing the differentiation of this value directly so this is minus r co into q raised to the power minus 2 plus h by 2 and equate it to 0 and now we can solve the equation so by solving the equation we are keeping h by 2 on the left hand side and we take everything else on the right hand side which will be r co and we are taking this q raised to the power 2 in the denominator so that the power will be positive instead of negative now take this take this q square on the left hand side so taking this q square on the left hand side and rest of it on the right hand side so this will be 2 into r into co divided by h and now putting q so taking under root on both the sides will be getting 2 r co divided by h so this is our eoq formula so this is how we derive it and i hope you have understood the derivation and Hope you have enjoyed the video. In case of any queries, you can write to us. Thanks for watching.